Hello and welcome to the Scholarly Communications video series from the Himmelfarb Health Sciences Library. My name is Paul Levette and I'm one of the reference librarians. Today I will be talking about how to conduct 3R's alternatives literature searches for animal research protocols. Let's get started. Animal Welfare Act regulations require principal investigators to include in your research protocol submission to the GW IACUC a written narrative that animal use alternatives are not available and the research does not unnecessarily duplicate previous experiments. Alternatives to animal use in research defined as the three R's by Russell and Birch in their book The Principles of Humane Experimental Technique are replacement referring to methods that avoid using animals. These include replacing animals with computer systems, organ on a chip, or replacing vertebrates with invertebrates. Refinement, referring to modifications of husbandry or experimental procedures to improve animal well-being and minimize pain or distress. And reduction, referring to maximizing the information obtained from a given number of animals without increasing pain or distress. This includes using new technologies, changes to experimental design or conditions, and the use of appropriate statistical methods. The guide for the care and use of laboratory animals states reduction is not a rationale for reusing animals that have already undergone a procedure if the well-being of the animal would be compromised. Methods that introduce severe or chronic pain must include humane endpoint. Where in the protocol do you report your literature search? Section 20 of the GW IACUC application form. At least two databases must be searched. The database names, the date on which the search was performed, the years covered and keywords used in the search must be reported together with synopses of findings regarding alternatives, refinements, and unnecessary duplication of experiments. It would help the IACUC if the key studies that inform your analysis are provided as full citations, though even just the PMID numbers for those articles would be helpful. Please note, after your protocol is approved, when you subsequently apply for a modification of your research protocols, the IACUC may request you update and rerun your 3Rs alternatives literature search to cover the years that have passed since it was first approved. Bibliographic databases available to GW researchers to use to run a search for 3Rs alternatives include PubMed, that includes Medline database records, Altbib, which provides a more focused search of PubMed for 3 R's alternatives, Scopus, that includes the Embase pharmacology database records, Web of Science, that includes records from the Science Citation Index, Biosys, and the Zoological Records databases, and Agricola, which is the National Agricultural Library catalogue. 3R's alternatives research can also be searched within individual journals such as Altex and translational science titles. Lists of high impact journals including medical experimental research, veterinary medicine or medical laboratory technology can be retrieved from the journal citation reports database. Contact Himmelfarb Library for advice on how to construct a search filter to search for keywords in journals within a discipline. Three R's methods and technology searches may also be performed in grey literature resources. In particular, the National Agricultural Library has a list of websites for the Three R's organizations. And so on this Three R's web page, and we scroll down, you'll see a list of other Three R's organizations and you could run searches on the websites for these as well. Developing a search string. Use the PICO mnemonic on your research question or hypothesis to identify 
keywords for the animal population, disease or intervention, any comparison and the outcomes to be measured. Identify scientific terminology related to the research for procedures, drugs or methods used. Animal terminology, so both the species and common names. And three R's alternatives terms. These should be more than just the words alternatives, replacement, reduction or refinement. Add examples of the three R's, for example, humane endpoint. Again, the National Agricultural Library has a useful website. This page on literature searching how to find animal use alternatives. If you scroll down to step three to four and expand the section that says examples of three R's keywords gives you examples of terminology for replacement, refinement and reduction. Developing a search string. For the search logic and database limits use boolean operators to combine or separate terms. Use parentheses within which to nest search statements. Use quotation marks around a phrase and possibly truncation if the database supports that. Here is an example for a search for refinement. In this case we are searching for environmental enrichment for hamsters. So for this search the keywords might be chrysetony or hamster and the phrases environmental enrichment or enriched housing or nesting material bedding, cardboard, tube, wheel or toy. The PubMed medical subject heading search version maps chrysetony to a medical subject heading for the scientific name for the species. So we would want to include that or the keyword hamster. And then in addition to the terms that we already came up with for the refinement alternatives, the medical subject headings in PubMed for this topic might include animal housing, which maps to this term housing comma animal, which is used in PubMed, or animal husbandry or nesting behavior. To perform the search across multiple databases, you typically would start by formulating a PubMed search using a relevant to your protocol combination of medical subject headings plus keywords. What I typically would do is to copy and paste the PubMed search into a tool called the Polyglot Search Translator. So if we take the example from our previous slide and copy this and then open the Polyglot search translator you could paste this search in here, this PubMed search and if you scroll down the page you'll see a list of other databases that you can translate the search into. So for instance, the Cochrane Library, it looks subtly different because it's the tags are different and are appropriate for that database. Similarly, with the Scopus Advanced Search, you will see here those medical subject heading tags have been changed to this word index terms. Now it's worth bearing in mind with the Polyglot Search Translator that it is just translating those tags. It's not translating the subject heading syntax. So you'll see for this example the PubMed subject heading housing comma animal is still used here. So typically what I might do would be to copy this paste it into a text editor like notepad 
and then I might edit this phrase and change this to animal housing as a phrase and what I would suggest doing is trying both the original search and then your revised search and seeing what a difference it might make so let's try that in the Scopus advanced search page so this is the search as copied from the Polyglot Search Translator and now if we try our revised search and we've changed the second term to animal housing we see there is no difference so it's it looks as though it's actually able to recognize that uh, PubMed search heading this does not always it's not always the case in all databases which is why it may sometimes be necessary to edit the search syntax but certainly polyglot translator is a very useful tool for these purposes you may then choose how to export the records of the citations you find to a database such as Covenants, EndNote or RefWorks to deduplicate the citations that you've retrieved from multiple databases and you would do this before you would screen the titles and abstracts against your inclusion and exclusion criteria. Some red flags that the IACUC looks for in your 3Rs alternatives literature search are if you've only searched one database, if you've only used the keyword alternatives, if the keywords are not relevant to the protocol, if the search syntax is incorrect, for example if you're using the wrong boolean operators or the wrong search tags for that database, if the search does not cover an adequate time period as already mentioned, your search should be updated for any later modifications that you make to the protocol. Also, if there are no citations or PMID numbers to identify the articles that support your analysis. Thank you for taking the time to listen to conducting literature searches for research protocols. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please visit our video library where you can also find the associated slides and similar tutorials. If you have any questions about the material covered in this session or have questions specific to your own research, don't hesitate to contact the library at himmelfarb at gwu.edu or the GW Institutional Animal Care and Use Committee at iacook at gwu.edu. On behalf of the Himmelfarb Library Scholarly Communications team, thank you for listening.